Welcome to Born to Live, brought to you by Christ Holy Church International, Odozio Budo, every Wednesday, 12.30 to 1 p.m., here on Odenibo, 99.1 FM. Good afternoon, dear listeners. I welcome you to the Born to Live program here on 99.1 FM, brought to you by Christ Holy Church Nation Builders at Odenibo FM. Ugosi. wherever you are under the sound of my voice i pray the good lord will touch you in a special way today are you sick or depressed are you downcasted suffering disappointment or experiencing strange or unpleasant situations god our god who is abundantly able will deliver you as you join us in this program. Amen. I am your friend and host for today, Senior Evangelist Kingsley Oheto, representing our General Superintendent, His Eminence, Most Reverend Dr. Daniel Oku. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, King of glory, the immortal redeemer, the father of the universe, the God who is able, the same power that you operated yesterday, today, and forever. We beseech that power come to these listeners and touch the life of the brethren who are listening to me for a total transformation through the name Jesus Christ, our Savior, we pray. Thank you very much. I bring to us a topic titled He paid attention to the master's voice. My text will be taken from Luke chapter 5 verse 1 to 10 and I read And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake. But the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the ground. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now, when he has left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your net for a draught. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had let, done this, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their neck brack, and they beckoned unto the partners which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled the boat, the ship, so that they began to sing. When Simon saw it, he felt at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. And there was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which has, were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto them, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. Praise God. Brothers and sisters, hearing my voice, I want to tell you today that in the situation of Peter, Peter found himself in a condition. And the condition was so critical that he had a frustrating night. When Peter was out of the boat, 
washing his net. I can tell you that the devil remembered him, that they he included him to deal with him. But thank God, he did not conclude the exercise. Brothers and sisters, I don't know what you're passing through. But I want to tell you something. That your condition today is not a conclusion. But a construction to your coronation. One day, you shall have the final testimony. My topic says, again, he listened, he paid attention to the master's voice. What is attention? It simply implies taking notice of someone or something. And what is the master's voice? It signifies the deeply ingrained master-servant relationship. Peter had a great experience that night. Peter was already a frustrated man by his response in verse 5. He said, we have toiled all the night. We caught nothing. Brothers and sisters, I want to tell you, there is difference between toiling, working, and laboring. Working is a white collar job. You just come back from office with your tie, your husband, your spouse, who just said to you, darling, are you back? Wow, you said I had a hectic day. You just remove your tie, come and shower. There's food on the dining. Labor is what the machine can do. You see a man climbing five story decking, story building, trying to put food on the table. But toiling means going all through both labor, work, and coming out to that result. And I tell you this year 2024 nothing shall make you toil in the name of jesus christ brethren i tell you today that in peter's case thank god he did not lose focus thank god he never lost focus because if you lose focus or lose focus so easily to challenge you that comes through your roots it simply or becomes an indication that you were listening to the wrong voices may you hear jesus speaking to you today may you hear the right voice of jesus many voices spoke to peter in fact if the secular man will use a word he will say peter was emotionally traumatized but thank god when you are proud to make a good decision never you let emotion to build move the nation and move into action and as peter saw jesus and jesus asked for the boat already jesus was in the boat already and asked him to push a frustrated man would have said my friend settle yourself but he said i will do he recognized him immediately as a master and that made him continue his labor and toiling and he pushed the boat and when he pushed the boat jesus finished preaching i know that sometimes it is not those who press finally gets the result look at peter he was not pressing people were pressing but finally he was the one who carried the result of excellence so it happened in the days of Zacchaeus. Men were pressing, but Zacchaeus did something different. And he was carrying the result. I pray today, wherever you are, that you hear me differently and carry a result your generation has never carried before in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, some moments are like that. But Peter, hearing all the voices that were speaking into his life, could do something. What did he do that muffled me? Peter casted down every voice of negativity and said, I cannot conclude here. I rather press forth and get a result. He recognized a man on the scenario who was addressed by him as a master. 
may the master of the field where you operate manifest today for you in the name of jesus christ amen listen he could cast down imagination and every rough voice that raised his ugly head against the knowledge of god when god is present the knowledge of the enemy is not needed anymore let the knowledge of god supersede today through the name of jesus christ remember peter left the canal mindset that told him it is over because at the time he came to the water at the time jesus appeared at the water the water was already troubled because that was not a perfect time at all to fish remember fish is well done or uh, well caught by fishermen by night when everywhere is cool and silent but at the morning people have come to swim people have come to wash their clothes the water has been troubled but nevertheless when the master came the water obeyed the word and the master i know that today there is something that you need in your life i know there's something you have been longing for i pray the lord will make you get it today in the name of jesus christ amen Remember, friends, that Job chapter 22, verse 29 says, When there is when men say there is a casting down, you shall say there is a lifting. Lift up your spirit wherever you are now and hear the voice of Jesus. Because there is a lifting for you. Your story must change to glory to die. And hear me. There is something that Peter did. After hearing the message of Jesus, it lifted his spirit. It lifted his body. He's lifted, he lifted, he was lifted. And in such a way that he could concur, comply, and take the necessary step and got the miracle. Listen to me. The Bible said in Psalm 119, verse 130, the entrance of the word of God giveth light. Peter allowed the entrance of the word. Brethren, May you hear my voice as you allow the word to enter. May there be entrance of the word in your heart today. Thank you very much. Children of God, listen. Whenever I, whatever action you are taking is a product of your thoughts. And your thoughts are a product of who you are listening to. Romans 10, 17 says, Faith comes by hearing. Hearing the word of God. Please hear the word of God and develop a faith that will give you the miracle you desire. Listen to me. The Bible said, guard your heart, according to Proverbs 4.23, with all diligence from, for all of the issues of the heart, of life, are from the heart. Please, make sure you guide your heart and make your heart respond to the true loving word of God I bring for you. Listen to me. Are you indifferent to the word of God? Just know that you can never maximize God's plan for your life if you become insensitive and indifferent. Therefore, he turned and paid attention to Jesus' word and got a divine turnaround immediately. Listen, imagine a cynic complex, a man frustrated to push a boat. Not even once he pushed, he pulled, he pushed again. But thank God for the result. The result cancelled his insult. May the result you will get this day after hearing this message cancel every insult in your life today. In Jesus' name. Listen to me, child of God. He has stood in the water, but when he was listening to Jesus, everything that dribbled him in the water came to hear Jesus. And when Jesus said to him, push, and he pushed and launched into the deep, Everything that ran away and dribbled Peter came back and surrendered by themselves beyond measure and everywhere was filled with fish that he called the neighbors and the neighbors packed fish in their ship and the ship began to sink. That was an oversized answer to his prayers. He never knew the day would be like this. But thank God who intervenes for a frustrated man. Friends, don't easily conclude in what you're passing through jesus the same yesterday he stepped into the boat of peter the same today 
He will step into your life and your condition. And I tell you, the result will be awesome. Friends, I want to tell you, hear me as I prophesy. You shall not toil in vain this year, 2024. 2024 shall yield increase and results that will cancel every insult in your life. Every responsibility that is waiting to put you to shame, that you are trying to run away from today, God will give you an answer that will make you come back with a testimony, with a smiling face. Thank you very much. Brothers and sisters, I thank you for hearing the message of God. Peter saw the master. Peter saw the master. Who are you seeing? Now, may you see beyond me and see the master. May you see the master. May you see the master. I pray you see the master today. Peter did what he was asked to do. Peter did what the master did, asked him to do. Remember, he saw what others couldn't see. He saw the message for himself and not for others. And he did all the master yearned for. And the Bible said, Peter got the best result for the day. What shall I gain from Jesus as I listen to his demands and pay attention? Number one, you will enjoy his presence. Number two, if I say you enjoy his presence, I mean, according to Psalm 16 verse 11, he says, in his presence there is fullness of joy there was joy that day for peter there was joy for peter and there's joy for you hearing my voice today you will return home with joy today number two you will hear and catch what others couldn't catch matthew 11 28 peter did not come just by come he came with his voice with heart his attention and his readiness and he got the result you will also have a better result that will cancel your insults Luke chapter 5 verse 6 Peter had a better result thank you Lord for that result I pray anyone under the listening voice of this program even then you will get that result in Jesus name in conclusion my brethren I once heard my generous pretendent say that his prayer for his family is that they may hear God. That they may pay attention to God and his word. And today, I pray that my generation, my children, you and I, hearing this voice, might pay attention to Jesus. For it is very painful or it pays to hear him as you listen to him. If you listen to him, you have a result indeed. Listen to me. Remember what I said earlier. I said, the fishes that dribbled Peter at first, later surrendered to Peter. Whatever has dribbled you, child of God, as you hear the word of God, as you hear me, those things will come to surrender. You will never go a frustrated man anymore. Thank you, Jesus, because I know you have answered us. And we say, let us pray. Friends and families, this is all the time we got in the place. I want to use this time to tell you that as I pray with you, I don't know what you are passing through. I don't know your frustrating lives and your predicaments. But I know of a voice you will hear. And deliberated the voice of Jesus, the voice, the voice, the voice that speaketh better things, the voice that intervenes, the voice that gives instruction and things change automatically. May you arrive at your result. I want to pray today for my listeners. May the good Lord that answered Peter yesterday, may that same God of heaven. And his beloved son, Jesus Christ, come to your aid and rescue today. Deliver you from every frustrating condition you are into now.
thank you father because i told my listeners that their condition is not a conclusion but a construction to their coronation you will be lifted as i pray may the power says this a casting down be withdrawn from your life may the lifting of god take over your life and may the name of the lord be praised forever thank you father for prayer answered in jesus mighty name we pray listen to me if you're blessed by this message today i would like you to have this personal contact and info for yourself for further of this message and for the further of prayers and counseling i want you to know that our, our church christ Holy church we have a special time a special counseling time Every Friday in our headquarters at number five, Barra Street, Fege on Nature, and Barra Street. From 9 a.m. through 5 p.m. If you come, good. If you can come, if you can't, good. But you can call. Please, these are the numbers to call. And when you call, somebody is waiting for you already to pray and prophesy into your life. Listen to the numbers, please. 000 4971 or zero eight zero eight five triple three eight seventy i repeat zero nine zero sorry zero seven zero six six four three four eight seven one zero seven zero six six four three four eight seven one or zero eight zero s five three 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 eight seven zero if you call somebody is waiting to listen to you be blessed as you forward your view your complaints to the lord he will hear you and he will surely intervene for you remember i am not just telling you this i am telling you that we have seen the experience today and i pray that the surplus blessings of the lord will invade you in scarcity this is the last time you will experience scarcity or shortage there is surplus from the Lord. And my God, my God, my God is coming to give you surplus. As you listen to the voice of Christ Holy Church Nation Builders. So the Born to Live program here on 99.1 FM brought to you by Christ Holy Church Nation Builders at Udenimo FM Ugosi. I am your friend and host for today, Senior Evangelist Kingsley Oheto. Born to Live brought to you by Christ Holy Church International, Odozio Bodo, every Wednesday, 12.30 to 1 p.m. here on Odenibo 99.1 FM.